all right guys so we're gonna be following up on some uh shorter time frames to see if there's actually continuation to the downside in terms of this particular movie we've already seen in regards to bitcoin uh we're gonna be talking about zen we'll look at into that as well too uh see where we could be heading because we were very close to pulling uh all time lows for zen in particular so that's gonna be uh interesting to look at as well uh so let's go ahead and uh just get started into this since uh, i don't want to waste too much time into it uh so again going back to our uh, particular strategy that we've been talking about in regards to strategy 23 here uh the maximum move that we've actually particularly seen here in terms of this strategy um if uh i'll just bring you here the data set so you you guys can actually see this in particular uh the maximum move uh, to the downside is just roughly around 17 uh, percent so if we were to take that into con consideration uh you know dropping about 17 percent roughly from where we from where we already dropped since meeting the conditions just roughly around um uh, it was sunday uh, august 13th so 17 percent uh what is it 17.18 percent uh, puts you just roughly around uh, $24,000, so the lower side of uh, 24k. Now, I do want to iterate this, is that, look, this is on the Bitstamp bit chart that the conditions were actually particularly met. But if we go on Bybit, we can uh, particularly see that the price actually came down as low as that, right? It came down roughly around 24000 um 24,200 so we got close to that 17 percent however most exchanges uh the lowest that we particularly saw uh was very close to what bitstamp was actually you know recording overall which is just roughly around uh 12.79 percent so that means look there is some more downside pressure if there is going to continue uh to be uh pressure in regards to the bears if there are any additional sellers However, I do want to note here, if we look at uh, something really quick here, because it's uh, it's good when especially you see a big, massive move, especially after, um, you know, a very, very boring um, market overall, you know, low volatility, low volume, and then you see a big, massive uh, spike or, or move to the downside. And then um, you want to be looking at the, at the higher time frame. So with that being said, there is uh, this indicator that I was basically looking at. And what this is, is basically uh, you're looking at the transaction costs for Bitcoin compared to actual price. Now, um, based off of this, guys, we have not been this low. Okay, we have not been this low since, you know, coming in all the way back in 2015, guys. Okay, 2015. So that's very historical level low levels on this particular indicator the lowest previously to that that we got was just roughly around 2019 before we actually had that big massive run up again and then the we had the cerveza sickness dump and then you know continuation from on and onwards and upwards from there however this is actually occurring um just basis off a you know coming off of a higher high uh, on the lower time frames and uh, just looking at this in particular, this kind of interests me because, look, the transaction costs are really low. And w when we look at uh, something in particular in, ter in terms of like Bitcoin, uh, you know, when, when we see high volume come in, high volatility, this usually puts in a spike in, in terms of the transaction costs. However, we haven't seen that actual swing to the upside so far. We came very close just roughly, uh, what was it, around June. Um, but afterwards, uh, it continues to actually trend downwards. So it will be interesting to continue to keep an eye on this particular indicator because it, it will foretell a lot of information. You can see even that it, it did call a very nice high in terms of the previous bull market right here. And then it, it started putting in a, a lower high um, in regards to that while you were putting in higher high on price action. So there was a bit of a regular bearish divergence in terms of that. So these uh, these transaction costs can actually tell you uh, something in particular in terms of the charts, but they have to use be used with a confluence of uh, you know other indicators or even in particular with price action. But however, so far you know the transaction costs are very low compared, you know on average, basis of what we've been looking at overall in terms of price. 
Uh, so yeah, with that being said, uh, there is one particular um, area that I'm watching if we start to break below 24,200 area is that I'm looking for a move all the way down to roughly around $21,000 area right here, guys. Um, so that's where I could see support come in. Uh, some buyers, you know, starting to, to essentially buy Bitcoin just around this particular region, just like this. And then uh, maybe get a bit of a consolidation zone because this is the actual breakout zone that we broke out, you know, starting this particular trend to the up upside. So that will more likely act as support, uh, you know, breaking off since January. We've been in that nice upward trend. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm particularly watching with Bitcoin at the moment. Uh, there aren't any particular conditions on our strategies that have been basically met. We're still following up on the previous conditions that were met on strategy 20 and strategy 23. Uh, in particular with strategy 20, that actually has completed. So I would, you know, disregard this. You know, we've already taken the move. Um, and I've taken a lot of profits in regards to strategy 23. However, if there's more downside pressure, the maximum value would bring you just around 24,000. If 24,000 breaks, then we're more likely we're looking just roughly around the uh, lower side or mid side of $21,000 area. Uh, which is very nice type of move because you know we've been ranging for quite some time and seeing these type of volatile moves, you know, $2,000, $3,000 to the downside again guys these are nice actual profits because if you were to take your extrapolation point right and we were to look at this uh this is uh let's say if we were to see that type of move right from here to uh let's say 24 the lower side of 24 200 that's about five percent which is a nice move if you were to go all the way down to let's say uh, the lower side of 22,000, that's about another 13% to the downside, which is very nice, guys. Very, very nice overall. Uh, let's go ahead and just before we get into Zen, guys, if you haven't downloaded the BAB application, it is free on the iOS and Android. Uh, it allows you to basically onboard into crypto, getting you access to the blue chips like Bitcoin and Ethereum. They've just come out with their virtual and debit card, the physical card in the UK, so it allows you to basically spend uh, your uh, you know crypto in the real world. Uh, it also gives you access to uh, currency X and a GPP account that you can open up anywhere around the world, which is uh, phenomenally amazing. They're going to be coming out with again the uh, decentralized regulated finance, which is one of the reasons why I think BAB will do phenomenally well onboarding again a lot of the uh, banks onto this and connecting directly to the BAB application. Now they are going to be coming out with their own decentralized app in terms of the wallet. So stick to stick stick around uh, because we will be giving this uh, news once it comes out on this channel, guys. If you enjoy content like this, definitely give this uh, video a thumbs up, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and just quickly talk about Zen. So Zen, guys, really close to making all-time lows. Okay, you can see right here. Okay, this particular wick, okay, came down all the way, guys, all the way to 684 okay 684 guys 684 or 68 uh 681 it was uh very close to putting all-time lows you can see the all-time lows okay let's let's put on a clearer chart because it's uh, it's easier to see the all-time lows for zen is just roughly around 680 guys we came so close so so close to putting all-time lows guys all-time lows just touching just touching all-time lows guys Okay, and uh, this is the area that we we're saying, okay, look forward to because we want to maintain this last stance of support for Zen. If that's the case, we are actually starting to put again on the higher time frames, higher lows, followed by again lower lows on price action that basically indicates uh, a trend change. However, if we are not able to hold that, then most likely this will get negated and moved away from, you know, this trend that we've been building and more likely that it's looking to basically retest this. And if we were to retest this particular area right here, then you know that Zen is going to be, uh, you know, putting in new all time lows from here. Uh, again, this is something to continue to watch. Uh, I think, again, I think Zen really is going to be putting in new lows because if you followed me on Twitter, guys, you know, we were talking about uh, the whole time on the 12 hourly, just watch out uh, as long as we continue to close again below uh, below the 55 uh, EMA that more likely, again, we got rejected. 
more likely we are going to go in and, and start putting in lower lows guys um but again we're going to continue to watch this and see how this actually plays out still the the mentors are very profitable that's why we're continuing to see this downside pressure uh, i think when the mentors really become unprofitable that's when we're going to start to put in uh, an actual bottom for them it may be a ranging market or a consolidating market and then hopefully from there we can start an uptrend putting in higher highs and higher lows now this comes you know off of the news that there are some projects coming out on zen we got the game um game theory for project for zen you know the keys game we got a bunch of projects that are basically coming out which will help in the long term but it it all depends on the mentors guys that's what it is it's it's all bases off of the mentors and as long as the mentors are basically still profitable they're going to continue to basically sell off knowing that they can even buy a lot lower and uh w why wouldn't they want to do that right when they can you know x amount their their um uh, their bag and in, in terms of getting in a lot lower uh, on price so yeah that's basically what's happening with zen overall um and uh there really not much changes i mean dxy still continues to you know break that key resistance area we've been talking about other than that guys I'll, I'll it's a short one and i'll leave you off with this one until next time bros as always stay profitable